Moving on, people across the world are seething with anger with women on the forefront. Protests in Iran against the death of 22-year-old Kurdish woman Masa Amini have spilled over to other countries as well. This is people from North America to Europe to Asia have been demonstrating against the Iranian government and in support of the protesters in the Islamic Republic. In a massive show of support in Germany, protests were held in solidarity with Iranian demonstrators. Around 80,000 people took part in a freedom rally in Berlin on Saturday. Protesters waved Iran's pre-revolutionary flags, held banners condemning the treatment of women in Iran, and in posters mentioned the names of women who were killed. They gathered in the center of the capital around the victory column. the leaders of the free world to hear the voice of Iranian people. They ask for their ambassadors to leave that criminal government, not to negotiate with that criminal government and to help Iranian people to be able to be able to choose the kind of leaders and governments and life they want to live. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Sweden, an anti-Iranian government demonstration was held in the capital Stockholm on Saturday. Some at the rally were also holding flags of East Kurdistan Free Women's Society, an activist group advocating for the rights of women in Iranian Kurdistan. Back home in Tehran, protests continued to rage with each passing day. More and more people taking part in the demonstrations. This is people across all walks of life. Students, shopkeepers, workers in several Iranian cities staged strikes on Saturday to keep the process alive. Activists in the Islamic Republic issued a call for fresh demonstrations as the Iranian working week got underway on Saturday. However, it remains difficult to gauge the tunnel due to curbs on internet access. Meanwhile, footage from the country also showed students holding Iranian flags and chanting outside Shahid Beheshti University in Tehran. The university is one of the country's largest campuses. While in the United States, Capitol Washington, D.C., thousands marched in solidarity with the demonstrators in Iran. Chants of justice for Iran reverberated in the capital city. People were seen carrying banners that read, Women, Life, Freedom, en route to the White House from the National Mall. The regime in Iran. Islamic regime must go. Protests first erupted at the funeral of Amini on September 17th before spreading across Iran and then worldwide. The protests have posed one of the boldest challenges of, to Iran's clerical leadership since the 1979 revolution. This as the government has deployed its powerful security apparatus to quell the unrest. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.